Now, what is it that the belt system is for? Yes, I already approached the answer to that question, but the first thing is so the students can have that sense of direction. But the second thing is that what most people do not get about the belt system is so you don't have to compare one student to the other. Right? Because if you're going to compare the student to the other, you can say, man, your black belt, when you beat up, all these other guys here, you become the black, the black belt. So you need that type of comparison in order to be able to carry your students where they are. That's the only reference you can get really inside your place if you don't have a belt system. Now, the moment you have a belt system, and that's the pull do gat, that's the, the big loop forward in terms of uh, thinking in uh, martial art instruction is, I no longer need to compare one student to the other. It's not because my, my, uh, 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 my student here is a blue belt and he's going to be better than that guy who's uh, uh, better in sparring than that guy that is, is, is a white belt. Everybody has its own limitations, its own potentials, its own natural abilities. And now the students can be measured against that, meaning that at the moment that guy gets to his black belt, he's pretty close to how good he can be. And he needs to progress beyond that by exploring beyond uh, his natural capabilities and everything that he could, he could accomplish according to his potential. 